I think every man has a need to have a workshop. There's got to be a place at home where you can go into and find seclusion and find something you enjoy. I'm very proud of my workshop. I built this workshop, or at least I started it, about 11 or 12 years ago. I've been adding to it ever since, and of course it's always a mess, but I try to keep it as clean as I can. There's always bits and pieces of paint from every project, some oil drips, some everything. But I can look at my workbench and I can recognize every project I've ever had through the stains on the workbench. But I really would like to show you some space-saving ideas that I think I've come up with that may be of interest to some of you when you're a little bit limited for workshop space. For my workshop, I found an air compressor at an auction, bought it at a very reasonable price, located it in the garage next to my workshop, ran PVC through the drywall, and brought piped in compressed air on a Schedule 40 PVC to every location that I determined I needed to use an air tool or needed compressed air to blow out or clean up something. The compressed air seems to do the job at every location and it's very convenient without having to hear a compressor running all the time. I even located it across the ceiling down to and overhanging my workbench. Here's where I located my bandsaw. I removed it from its existing stand, mounted it on a pivot hinge with two rubber wheels on the bottom so that I could fold the bandsaw up against the wall giving me back needed floor space. When not in use, I just roll it into place and use it and roll it back when I don't need it. For my cordless power tools, I decided to put all my battery chargers in one location where they're all powered and ready to go. My compound miter saw, which I needed on rare occasions, was mounted on a rolling cart, which took up way too much room to bring it in from another room. So I mounted it on a hinge, inserted a 2 before to support the, the, the mount, located the saw in a place where I could get to it easily, and fold it back down when it wasn't in use. My parts washer, which I needed to clean metal parts and things I was working on, I mounted on top of a file cabinet. The file cabinet is where I store my manuals and spec sheets so I can always get to parts lists and things that I need on tools or to reorder things for them. My drill press I located just to the side of the file cabinet and parts cleaner. The vacuum is located overhead and is easily used to clean up sawdust and metal filings after I do some work with the drill press. This rack holds all the dowels, rods, and trims that I need according to their size. The centerpiece of my workshop is my workbench where I've mounted my 10 inch table saw level in the workbench itself. Also mounted in the workbench is my router. This saves me the trouble of having to get a router table and I wind up using the same rip fence for the router as I do the table saw. And as always, there's a small vacuum mounted close by to clean up after using the table saw and the router. Here I use the drawers from an old metal cabinet for chuck keys, driver tips, router bits and countersinks, or anything else that was small and I needed to have close by. To store small parts, 
I bought plastic bins with covers on them, built shelves to fit their size, and located them throughout my workshop. I have about 120 of these bins in my workshop now. One thing I found out was that clearly labeling them and taking a hot melt glue gun and gluing a sample of the item within the box on the outside makes finding parts very easy and very quick. Although my workshop may look like a mess, it's just like my desk. I know where everything is that's in there. I use plastic bins that hang from rails to store nuts, bolts, washers, different types of wood screws, concrete screws. Whatever I need gets stored according to size in these plastic bins. I located two bench grinders, one for a buffing wheel and a fine wire brush, on a rotary stand in which I can reverse and now have a grindstone and a coarse wire wheel on the other side, using both of them at the same time in about half the space that they would normally take. My belt sander is also mounted in the workbench itself. It has a cover, so it really is out of the way when it's not in use. My wood lathe is mounted on top of a workbench and it shares a small portable vacuum with my bandsaw. When I'm not using my wood lathe, I remove a pin and the lathe gets hinged and folds up back against the wall. The motor to the wood lathe is accessed directly through the workbench. I gained some additional storage space by cutting an old wooden door in half and hinging it and using it as an additional storage panel. To access the motor and belts on my table saw, there's also a panel which opens on the surface of the workbench. Having a computer in the workshop is almost indispensable. It lets me keep needless it lets me look up things on the, on the internet and lets me, in general, shop for whatever I need or whatever I want to check on right in the workshop. Among other things I've installed in my workshop are a large ceiling mounted fan for ventilation and faster drying times for projects, a television, and a security monitor. My Craftsman dual cut saw is mounted directly overhead on my workbench. It hangs in place and stays out of the way until I need it. Occasionally, when working with small parts, high intensity lighting is needed, and I have two of them mounted on the ceiling. 
I store all my nails in revolving rotary bins underneath the workbench on the side. Also, I keep handy all my small power tools. These are tools that I would need quick access to for working on something right on the bench. I hope that this video has provided you with at least one good idea for your workshop. Please let me know what you think with a YouTube comment.